pretty sure it spells the word. Is it yet? What? Cha cha cheetah. We we will bite the gold. Do you hear anything? I can't find it like I'm looking <laughs> for it. Walk it on. What? Hmm. Cha cha cheetah. We we will bite the gold. Oh uh, yeah. Well, I tagged you guys. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Oh, I put episode oh, there it is. season two, episode two, hanging with the little shop characters. Okay. Uh, yeah. Good. We're yeah, good. Sounds good. good. You just have to turn it up. Okay. Cool. I'll just do the intro one more time. Okay. What? Cha cha cheetah. We we will bite the gold. So let me get turned. Heck yeah! Season or er, ep- season two, episode three. <laughs> He's right. Yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Live from Casper, Wyoming. That's right. I'm Stevie V. And I'm Jake. Yep. And we have some new guests with us, which is badass. Yes, super awesome. Yeah. Let's turn this down. Yeah, turn it down. I can hear it in here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got Trevor. Hey. Hey. Sarah. Heck yeah. And they are the ones that are in charge of Little Shop of Burgers. A pretty good burger joint. They are. Pretty amazing burger joint. <laughs> Probably one of the best, the best burger joint. Well, yes. Yeah. It oh, and we were talking about, uh, you guys have uh, the brisket thing. Mm-hmm. We do. Yep, we're running some brisket right now, local Wyoming beef. It is so good. Oh, we uh, slow smoked it. and Yep, it's it's amazing. We tried it out yesterday. It's hard to quit eating it, I'll tell you that. So, yeah. definitely want to go down and get it while we still have it. While it lasts. Yep. yep. And you guys do sack lunches. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Which we is do. pretty sweet. Yeah, we uh, offer free sack lunches to anybody in the community that needs them. Um, we started Heck doing yeah. it last year at the beginning of the pandemic, and we uh, we got a lot of turnout for it. And it started for just kids, but now it's doing for whoever needs it. We've had homeless people. We've given some to the shelter before. We've we've given them around to a lot of places for people that needed them. So it's really cool. Sweet. Yeah. Heck yeah. I didn't think the microphone was up very loud. The green thing's not going up. See? Choo uh, choo. There yep, we there go. There it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Check, check it yeah. out. <laughs> well, so the, oh, the intro um, to the show. One day I came out here and uh, Mabry, my youngest daughter, uh, came out here with me and uh, she's like, I don't know what. I don't really know what to do anymore, Dad. And then I just like turned it on, and then she started messing around, and okay. then she's like, "Chit chit cheetah, <laughs> <laughs> you a bicycle." And I'm like, "What?" I'm like, "Do that again." Yeah. <laughs> That's it awesome. Was great. It's great. That's it's awesome. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, she's a pretty good character for sure. Yeah. Cool. We have a bunch of those at home yeah. as well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Between us, there's six of them. So, yeah. There's a yeah. lot. Nice. You got it's a good. basketball team and one of them. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can yep. sub one out. I uh, only have two. Okay. Uh, we got something going on tomorrow that I noticed the car show thing. Uh, this. And bar none. Yeah, this thing is called it car none. Well, we're gonna call it car none. Choo choo. Nice. It's a good way for y'all to remember this. Car none. Yep. Seven to seven to three p.m. in a little park. Drawings, silent auctions. Uh oh yeah, and Lori said she's gonna have a t-shirt cannon. Cool. cool. Or maybe maybe well, it wasn't you, Lori. How but are you I gonna think... have a silent auction with a t-shirt cannon? That's gonna be loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I 
guess there's going to be multiple vendors out there, too, which is pretty rad. Uh, so get blasted in the head with a t-shirt. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> those those <laughs> cannons are super yeah. cool. Right? Yeah. yeah. It would be cool to have one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Or a confetti cannon. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. A dual-purpose one. Yeah. yeah. The confetti thing. shirt blaster. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Just scared the shit out of somebody. A first aid kit. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks, uh, we got to give a shout out to our sponsor, to Mobile Onsite Oil. Yeah, fourteen oh two East. <coughs> oh, he tuned in. What's up, Larry? Heck yeah, what's happening? Right man? on time. Steve. Yeah, hey, that no was shit. Really well, Look at dude. that. Yeah. 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 Man, I just uh, actually saw them get a bunch of rave reviews on Facebook yep. today. Yeah, so, good for them. Yeah, we haven't been, but. Yeah, saw good things today. Just you get a free you know. popsicle too. Okay, you know, cool. Down there. Yeah, Sweet. that's cool. And they're very Trip fast. With us? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna next time we need an oil change. That's where we're going. So, yeah, yeah. definitely. Give them a call. Two six seven nine six nine two. Nice, very good. Wow, we're gonna go one nine hundred number. On yeah, that. right. You know. <laughs> uh. Oh, do you want to uh, talk about the uh, festival thing that's coming up? Oh, we can talk about the festival thing that's coming up. Don't. As you guys seen last week, uh, all you guys, thanks again for tuning in. Happy yeah. Friday. Yeah, we appreciate uh, that. We appreciate you guys coming. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank, Thank you so much. This is going to be fun. We're yeah, happy to so be amazing. here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Again, so good. Um, for all you... Re- Turning viewers, you've seen this already, but for you new viewers, we got the Wyo City Summer Jam August 21st. Yeah, down at Mike Lansing Field. Real yep. time, it's from, oh, these guys. from uh, noon or gates open at oh. 1 p.m. and uh, yep. yeah, I think it lasts till like 10 p.m. 25 bucks a ticket, man. Like, it's gonna be an all day event. There's gonna be booze, uh, food trucks, there's gonna be beer pong, yeah. cornhole, beers be tournaments. Ooh, fun. There's yeah. gonna be music, um, local bands like The Shiver, System Restore, Lou Cosi, Beastwood. He's, He's gonna be on the show August 20, 20th. Oh, and, and like, I don't know, like, it's a big deal, but the headliner is Ryan Charles, a guy yeah. out of Wyoming, correct? Yeah, Buffalo. Uh, yeah. Huh. I, okay. Like, he's a country artist. Apparently, he's pretty legit. Like, he's mm-hmm. jammed him a couple times. Mm-hmm. He, cool. Okay. He, he We're going to check him out. Well. So, yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, he played yeah. that song over and over when he uh, did that camera. Did that camera. Okay. okay. Which That's is pretty cool. cool. So, the yeah. headliner is actually a pretty big deal, yeah. and it's a great thing to put on, you know, by uh, Harden Fight Company, you know, yeah. Lee Harden. Okay. He's still looking for sponsors. Too. Yep. And in between each set, there's going to be a DJ that's going to have everybody going on. There. Very so rad. DJ Cephas. Yeah. Is what it is. I've heard Please some see. of his stuff on Instagram. I'm okay. Sure he's fucking cool. cool. Pretty dope. Check it out. Yeah, it'll be pretty cool. Yeah. What it's day is that again? Time. What uh, day is that again? August twenty first is on a Saturday. Heck yeah! Okay. Oh, you can get tickets at Mobile Onsite. Oh, yeah. And Sonic Rainbow. Cheetah, look at that. Sonic Rainbow, mobile on site, cha cha cha. Yeah. And the other one. There's another one. What is it? Anyways, if anybody knows, let us know. Yeah. I remember reading it the other day. Sonic Rainbow, man. I love that shot. That place has been around forever. I used to go check that out when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. (laughs) When I was 15 years old and had to drive out from Douglas to get fucking. Punk CDs. Yeah. That's where you used to go. The used so you band. had to. Yeah. yeah. There was nowhere else. Punk rock compilations and yep. whatnot. And, like, and yeah. then that, what, Start FYE came in and yeah. they had some punk, but. And Sam Goody and Camelot. Yeah. yeah. They all changed names. It kind of all rotated and shit. Yeah. But Sonic Which Rainbow kind of was always was a bummer because that was when the ball was cool. Because back then, Aladdin was an asshole. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. right? Yeah. That yeah. was the we've been That's, talking about that a lot. Well, it's theater. so funny. The one and of the, the guys. Movie theater, the $3 yeah. Cheap yep. Seats, yep. You know one of the guys that came and did the ghost hunt the last time was actually the guy that worked at Aladdin's Castle forever. Oh, cool. Wow. And uh, yeah, he I, I recognized him because I was a dumb kid running around the mall being a mall rat. You know what I mean? And he'd give me and my friends free tokens <laughs> just to come in and hang out. And 
Yeah. You know, do whatever you're saying. I'm so jealous of all you Casper kids. Like, <laughs> grew up in Douglas and Lancaster. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, man, I'm like, and we're just kind of stuck with, like, loitering at the bank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean. What we did, we skateboarded at banks. Oh, I'm sure. Anywhere yeah. that had something you could grind on, man. Yeah. You'd like, really? <laughs> uh, we yeah. got Speaking uh, of, you remember soap shoes? Uh, have you seen, uh, have you guys seen Trailer <laughs> Park uh, Baker's Cakes? Have no. What's... Mm-hmm. She did a, a very amazing job with birthday cakes and cupcakes. Yeah. She okay. did my birthday cake, uh, my daughter's. Uh, she does an amazing job. But, uh, does she do uh, like big desserts and stuff like that? Like sell them to local places that could sell them out of their restaurant? Ooh, I don't know. We can find out know. from her. We yeah. we try to you know she's promote on other Facebook. local places. So yeah, yeah, she's on Facebook. Okay. Trey the Park Baker. Yeah. All right. Uh, Katie's Katie badass. Cushing. Yeah, she okay. is badass. We can name drop. Yeah, that's yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't okay. think she needs to remain behind. Yeah, the probably. Shroud yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mystery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go you got you got to figure it out yourself. Yeah. Hopefully, she's like, watching. Yeah. She's probably fucking baking right now. Yeah. yeah. Probably baking, shaking, yeah. bake. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm dealing with Those were the best anyway, like, commercials. Yeah, she does an amazing well. job, like for sure. She's amazing. an amazing. No job. work. Oh, okay. We uh, uh, let's we see. We got. They had I think we have an, another. Oh, oh okay. my good buddy Phil. Phil. Yep. We're he kind of actually kind of came cool. and got a painting from me the other day. He commissioned one, and he's going to be uh, raffling it off at uh, this BMX event. That's August. Don't see you that far. Uh, what? Yeah. Don't either. Yeah. August but 6th? No, that's too late. That's yeah, I think it's like 26th. That's no, that it does say the 6th, I think. Does it? Wait. wait. Maybe it's Maybe you guys been I need to get that straight. Right. Yeah, oh, see. yeah, that's a different Zoom in thing. with your phone. Okay. Right. <laughs> right. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm in the worst do. spot. You're right, though, but I, I can't get a good. <laughs> <laughs> You could just stand up and walk over there, That's but <laughs> yeah. again, I'm in the yeah, worst spot. Dude. Yeah, no. That's on you guys. You're on the outside. Uh, he's uh, he's sure got uh, pretty sweet. Right. Uh, I worked with him um, a while ago. Um, he's the appliance doctor <coughs> um, here in Casper. Um, so if your appliances are fucked up, give him a call. Two six two three five nine five, or find him on Facebook. Appliance doctor. Yeah. Cool. He does have fucking if hell experience. Heat ain't cooling and your cooling ain't heating. Choo choo. He's going to give you a fucking set. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. Uh, but so, yeah, that's all, the, that's all the other stuff. That's all the no, other stuff. Yeah, oh, I got for Easy Side's playing tonight at the bike. Ah, touche. You're in a queue, right? Yeah. Time visit. Uh. uh Oh, yeah, the clock's up there. (laughs) So they probably start here in about 40 minutes. Probably. You know what sucks there? Fucking other dude isn't here. Josh, our sound guy. H-S-E-C. Yeah. Yeah, he's like the, he's a safety guy. Yeah, okay. (laughs) He's good shit. He's pretty cool for a safety guy. Yeah. (laughs) Uh... Um, I'd like to plug the Wyoming Prism Project if I can. Oh, yes, yes. So um, it's a project. I want to shout out Joe Schroer and mm-hmm. Sean Bonner. Um, we're trying to get all of the creative minds throughout the state of Wyoming to come together and have a platform to share their stuff on. Um, again, it's called the Wyoming Prism Project. And, man, it's uh, it's one of the coolest ideas I've heard in a very long time. And we're already doing big things. So what is it? Like, what do you do? Um, so... Really, he's starting, uh, it's called the Wyoming Prism Podcast, and he's going to do interviews with different people, which he's interviewed us, and he's about to release that one here fairly soon, I think. Yeah. And then um, he, we've got like Hathaway Knives is on there, we're promoting them. And awesome. Get Bent, the band, uh, he's promoted them a lot, the Bourgeois Pig. Uh, man, he's just going around and he's doing interviews he's doing videos he uh, was up at comic-con taking pictures of all that he wants to promote it but he just wants to get what creativity wyoming has out there and uh, i think it's really cool yeah heck yeah uh we would love for you to interview us 
Yeah. Cool. You could come. You could come over. You can interview us. Yes, yeah, for you sure. Want. For I'm sure. gonna. I just liked the page a little bit ago. Oh, and for the people that are listening on Spotify and YouTube, the link's gonna be in the show notes. Cool. Yeah. So you just check, check, check it out. Yeah. <laughs> <Cha-cha>. <laughs> cool. I was messing with the show notes on that last. <coughs> oh, I got you guys in there too. Holy moly, that was a lot of work. Was it? Yeah, okay. like I typed out all this shit, and then I was like, oh yeah. So I got a, and it was like a big, it took like, I think like two and a half, three hours just to upload it on Oh YouTube. wow. Bro, yeah, you, yeah. you were talking to me at a, about it at the shop that day, man, and you were like, yeah, I'm just getting into this, so... Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I guess you can put links and stuff in the show notes. Cool. And that way yeah. people can click on it and go straight to our page or Ooh, that's awesome. what, whatever he puts in there. So, like, yeah. mobile oh, site. We should is, start calling them bro notes. Bro mm-hmm. notes. Bro notes. All right, like, All right Barney notes. Stinson. Like, yeah, Barney Stinson. Who's Barney Stinson? How I Met Your Mother. Wait for it. Gary. Yeah. You never oh, watched yeah. that show? Neil it's Patrick Harris. Yeah. 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 It's, it's hilarious. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. Old dudes. Yep. Yep. So it is. He's great. Um, I have a weird question for you Uh-oh. guys. Okay. I think I'm gonna do this because, like, I was thinking about it when we were driving to you before going today. Oh, okay. So every time we got a new guest, because you know I love milk. Oh my god. Are you a fan of milk? Do you like milk? Like drinking milk? Yeah. No, I cannot drink milk. Really? Milk. Not no. a milk drinker. No. She's not a milk drinker. No. What about you, dude? <laughs> uh, man, when I was younger, I drank a lot of milk. Really? Uh, but now I really don't. <laughs> yeah. Not that I don't like it. I just don't drink Damn much it. of it. I'm, I'm going to keep a tally. Right. Too. Right. I'm going <laughs> to tell you guys a story. So, like, like, two weekends ago, okay. we, were, we were like hanging out. It was after the show. Three we like, hey, let's to go out. Zero. Let's go. <laughs> Go have a couple of drinks after the show. Okay, cool. We got swing back here, here, and like we got everything mapped out. <laughs> We're like, all right, we got swing by the gas station, get smokes now, and fucking we do that. And Stevie oh, fucking beelines over to the fridge and grabs me milk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, the party, man. Well, I need to stop by the convenience store. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Like, not when you're drinking, man. Definitely not when you're drinking. I Dude, know, I can, I can drink yeah, milk just whenever. Yeah. Yeah. When it's hot as fuck, it is. <laughs> Except for hilarious. skim milk. I even got yeah. a yeah. I don't like yeah. skim milk because it's just like water. But oh, I can't. Yeah. I know. Then I we went to the bayou and like smoked eight. Thousand cigarettes yeah. and had like tall boys and PBRs, like after okay. drinking milk. Who <laughs> <laughs> drinks milk? Like, come I on, do. Man. Yeah. We're the only creature on the planet that I mean, milk for what it's worth, dude, my dad correct. can go through a gallon of milk in yeah. like two days by himself. Bad to yeah, the bone. Like, so, yep. so you're not the only one. And when awesome. I was younger, I, I probably could have done about that too, but now I, I just don't, man. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, dude, do you guys know how they? Almonds? Do they have nipples? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay. I've questioned this myself, just, but I've never looked it up. Yeah. Sna- I have the internet at my fingertips, and yeah. I've never looked it up. They yeah. literally <laughs> just snatch them up and so then like run them through. Almonds. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they just smash the shit out of them, and basically, it's more of like a juice. I don't know. It's yeah. like they're uh, basically but, juicing. Yeah. It, yeah. Almond juice, but that doesn't sound as satisfying. I don't think. I don't know. Mm, almond <laughs> juice. Yeah. <laughs> that way, like, you, it's a whole different like input. Like, yeah. You could cross a finish line. Of the earth, like, like, almond juice. You're right. Yeah. Oh, there's somebody out there right now. He's like, oh, that's it. That's how I'm gonna yep. make my that's money. Yep. <laughs> almond juice. <laughs> I kind of want to like paint a picture of that. Yeah, that's yeah. almond juice. It's like a fucking almond. That's like. They're just run an almond through a juicer in a painting. And, yeah. <laughs> and fucking weird. Yeah, we yeah, would. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the almond milkers. <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought about well, something that uh, I needed to bring attention to as well. The new spot that's opening this month, hopefully, Ooh, the spotlight. That's a good mm-hmm. one. Heck it's going to be all genuine genres. <laughs> genres oh of music um, that they're going to feature. But uh, man, 
It's gonna be so okay, sweet. Okay, so y'all know where like uh, what is it? Uh, downtown Burn Grill used to be. Mm-hmm. Daddy yeah. Yeah. And yeah. All that. Oh, it's the spotlight. That's where lounge. it is. Yeah. 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 Gonna be super awesome. I'm like. Yeah. So stoked. Like Stevie said, like it's gonna be all genres. So. Yeah. Oh. Everything. So crazy thing. Uh, Jeremy, he was like on the show, but like he wasn't he, last week. Okay. He was just chilling and uh, he came over the next day and then we're just sitting out here and he's like, hey man, you want to take a road trip? And I'm like, man, all right. sure, fuck it, I don't yeah. care. It's and he's like, we're trip. going to, we're going to check out this new spot. We went in there and oh man. Is he the one getting it? Uh, The spotlight. Is that Jeremy's? No. No. Okay. No. It, okay, uh, it's, it's Debbie's. Debbie. Yep. Uh, okay. She's the gal that runs a Sky Terrace at it. Okay. At oh, the okay. Hence yeah. the spotlight. I get yep. it. Yeah. I wondered. I wondered. That's weird. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, they're doing a bunch of work. Uh, when we went in there, uh, yeah, there was a lot of people busting their ass and shit. But I think that's going to be the sweet spot downtown. Well, it is yeah. going to be. Dude, you know, you know what? what? One of the All best, genres of one of the best yeah. shows I've ever seen in my entire life was at that venue. Yeah. The downtown Barn Grill. It was, I don't know if you guys went to it, but it was November and it was like negative eight degrees out. It was really fucking cold, blowing snow sideways, and it was strung out. Was playing there. Okay, uh, I definitely wasn't there. With rehab, I think strung out huh. rehab. Or I do it, remember the show. I wasn't it's there. Like, I didn't weird. go. It was like a weird duo, but no, I, I know Head there. P anyways, played there a few, a few times. I was, it was I strung was out there easy for set one. Played, but oh my god, this shit was so awesome, dude! Huh. It was like one of the best shows I've ever seen in my life. Just packed to the brim, and it was so cold outside, but like. Hot as fuck in there. Yeah. Step outside, like, freeze go back it. in. Like, yeah, it's perfect. You gotta love Wyoming, man. They show up even when it's, like, oh, man. just ridiculous oh, outside. Yeah. They'll still yeah. show up. Yep. Well, even yeah, shows it's like the, the underground, culture, man. man. Like, yeah, the underground. Oh, oh dude, I saw so the distillers up, and yeah, Tiger dude, Army right, down right, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going back to the underground. Yeah, Poor Stevie, you didn't grow up at yeah. yeah. Okay. And I just yeah. I yeah. keep here. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That was yeah. that was the like, spot, man. Really, we all grew yeah. up at the. Underground. You had to we're have, man. If you were, kids. yeah, if you were into any other music you know how, than like, pop and okay, country, so, yeah. you were at the underground. So it's like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. It is a generation thing for like all for sure throughout the whole country. But yeah, there's a little subgenre of Casper's the underground, man. Like mm-hmm. I actually lived in Douglas, but I but you still knew about the oh, underground, yeah. yeah, yeah. Watching yeah. Lillington, hit Lillington's Pinhead Circus, uh, the Queers, fucking all kinds of people. US Dude, bombs, we we got a Davis, lot of crazy good bands, surprisingly. Oh yeah, my God. so many good mm-hmm. bands. Yeah. It's so really good. weird that like the fucking shit that's back there. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. like. And then no offense, no. broads fucking wrestling. Yeah. yeah. When I was in Wisconsin. Well, because like, you guys know me. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. Like my fucking like sense of humor and everything. Well, we went back to um, Wisconsin and uh, for vacation. Well, it was right after the Comic-Con. Okay. Okay. The day after. Okay. And uh, we're in this like little bar or whatever. And uh, it was... Uh, my wife, a lady, she's, yeah, anyway, uh, her and her cousin, and then somebody else came in, I don't remember, but they're like, hey, how's it going, I'm like, oh, nothing, just hanging out with these broads, and the bartender, uh-huh. oh, man, uh-huh. <laughs> like, Not. she was very friendly, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> Not. yeah, okay. yep. Really? Yeah. Like, I wouldn't be fit. Well, I was like, like, I'm sorry. I'm like, that's just like kind of how I am. Like, yeah. It's, it's like, it's not offensive. No, <laughs> you didn't mean yeah. it that way. We'll like, 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 we all live on a certain level. We're like chilled out people. Yeah. Plus, it's like sure. we're not being loud and obnoxious. Like, I've been paying cash the whole time. I'm right. like confused. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Counterfeit <clears throat> bills. Not a good Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that, uh, uh, I don't you know what it made me really nervous? So once got back from the trip and all that stuff, and then I deposited 
all of that cash from the Comic-Con. Okay. okay. I'm like, oh my god, it's taking them a while. Oh, what if some of them fucking, what if one of them bills is counterfeit? Yeah. Right. I'm going to fucking weird, flip out. Yeah. Assumption. How would you, you never dive? know, though. You, yo, There's some really good like counterfeits that, 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 around town <laughs> right now. Like, no shit. in the restaurant yeah. industry, man. Like, well, us yeah, and bet. convenience okay. stores. Like, yep. Max is right down the street. Man, it's bad. So yep. check this out. Like, there was a person I knew a while ago. Through a friend of mine that... He was doing he, counterfeit bills. He used to date this <laughs> gal. Okay? Not, not to mention any names or anything. And like, you shush and all that stuff. If anybody knows. But anyways... Like, <laughs> All she did is buy a certain kind of paper and a certain printer from uh, Staples and counterfeit uh, five dollar bills. Because nobody checks. No, yeah, nobody checks right. fives. Yeah. Yep, ones and fives all day long, and did that for a long time. And then she ended up selling houses that never existed. She just like, oh wow, like super house, graduated. Like, Drive by and take a picture of somebody's house, fucking post it online, <laughs> get the money, and fucking. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yep. Wow. <clears throat> you know what's crazy? Yeah. yeah. It's wild. <laughs> here, here is something. Crazy. Yeah, here is something super crazy. Oh, I forgot to do this. So when uh, it was <laughs> super crazy, uh, I wrote this shit down. Well, anyway, uh, so I was like watching the news out here the other day. So there's this guy that fucking made this electric fucking semi, and it was a scam. Did you guys see that uh, shit? No. Yep. Oh, and fuck. he fucking like all these investors, <laughs> and he scammed them, and oh. they got into the video. Like a oh, 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 dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Perfect. So like the video that he like shared, it was like the semi. That you think that's like actually like running, it wasn't, right. but they put it on a hill. Oh uh, my god! And the lady's like, uh, it wasn't even all the way put together. Like the door had to be taped shut in oh. order for it to like go. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god. Is... Wow! They obviously <laughs> caught him, like right, because yeah, but... he probably made a fuck ton of money right up until they did. Holy shit! Wow, and people are scandalous, yep. but. You know, there's always some sucker out there who's going to fall for it. That's the thing, you know, and they know it. <laughs> the crazy thing was, is like they showed like some of the video, you know, and he's like fucking on stage in front of all these people. Oh my God. Yeah, dude. no bullshit. <laughs> like, this is the next best thing. And I'm like, holy, what a fucking piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. No <laughs> yeah. Dude. Yeah. God. <laughs> there's all kinds of crazy stuff out there right now. Yep. yep. Well, yeah. we've had some counterfeit fives and I think 20s come through our shop. Mm -hmm. the, the five was like, I don't even know how it passed, honestly. We got there the next day and we're like, it, it was planted yeah. all wonky the and wasn't was even. Like, yeah, it like was it was. I, I, but nobody bothers to even, they don't even look twice. They just oh, put it, you know what I mean? Because it's a small bill. Mm -hmm. Right. And Which so. Is what you were talking about, yeah. Yeah, right. it's, it, yeah. It's one well, of those like, things. I'm with this. Gal was telling me back when I knew her. She's like, you would never know. know. You would <laughs> never know. The only thing that is a dead giveaway is the same serial number over and over and over and over. Yeah, right. I think I'm going to go with this. Oh, we're going to have to do the watching. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Okay. Thank you, Lori. <laughs> Heck yeah. uh, the t-shirts are not <laughs> ready yet. Cool, but... Lori said she does not have the t-shirts ready yet. Uh, Joe says fire. Yep. Alien. That's, nice. that's Joe from the Prison Project. I'm yeah. sure. He yeah, said he'd he be said tuning he was gonna in. He's going to be so. watching tonight. So. Yep. What, uh, What's up, man? So, speaking of like aliens, that's kind of like some kind of conspiracy okay. type thing. So what's up with the, what was it, the ghost hunter type people oh, came yep. to the shop or whatever? Yeah, so we had, it's been a couple weeks ago now, three weeks yeah, ago three now. Yeah, three or four weeks now. Uh, that we had a local ghost, uh, ghost hunting group. What is their... They're called CAPS, but I don't remember what the acronym like, stands for. 
Oh gosh, we're gonna Casper have to area super paranormal. Yeah, paranormal society. society. Casper area paranormal uh, society. I think so. So and it's uh, right as far as I know, it's um, headed up by Carrie Merrill, who is a local OBGYN. I think actually um, Kaylee Tillman is the is she the founder? She's, she's okay. The, yep, the name. And then so Kaylee Tillman, and then uh, I know Carrie is a big part of it, and Carrie is also like I said a local doctor, and really awesome, good friend of mine, and she also uh, is an amazing author and is ha has a series of books that have been published. Um, cool. worldwide and then she has a new series coming out but I think the first book is already released she yep. released it before Comic Con yep and it is, oh, wow. it is amazing so uh, but anyways they came in and did a ghost hunt, hunt because we've had all kinds of crazy stuff go on in there and we're not making this up it's weird because it's a horror themed restaurant like you, right. it, it's almost like it worked out too perfectly but it really it like we've had our employees being touched, things falling off of shelves, things getting moved, people hearing talking and weird like growling noises. Including Just, customers. Yeah, customers. Well, we had customers too. hear wow. it and nobody was back there, like Yeah, so weird. we they yep. offered to come in and do a ghost hunt and they caught I mean, we caught all kinds of cool stuff, but the, so much so that they want to come back. Um, and so we're going to be doing that again tomorrow night with them right. with, with a little bit smaller group of people because there were so many people before and everybody was so excited that a lot of the audio got kind of messed up. Uh, so they wanted to come back and do it again, but we still caught quite a bit. It, it's, it's crazy. I mean, we did not, uh, we weren't expecting that when we got into the building for yeah. sure, but we experienced I'm, a lot. Yeah, um, they might not have got it on video and on their audio and stuff, yeah. but we experienced a lot. Yeah, and including some stuff that we didn't tell them about that was confirmed. Yeah. So like, I was a skeptic for a very long time, really, until working here. Mm -hmm. And then uh, now that I've actually experienced it and talked to like our employees about it, and like mm -hmm. Marcus being touched on the shoulder, man, like it's yeah. uh, mm. it's it's weird, dude. Okay. Yeah. So I'm I'm a skeptic as well, but when I moved into my place, it's actually three years away from being a hundred years old. Okay. Oh wow. Open. It's on first in Jackson. <clears throat> um, I put I went through three clocks on the wall. I'm okay. Like, I kept putting a clock on the wall, and it keep flying off and it keep breaking okay. over and over and over, like. And it, like, I would make sure it was steady and secure, you know, like maybe it's my stupid nailing job or whatever. Like, I checked all that. I'm like, no, it's good. <laughs> like, I did. What quarter size nail were you? Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, Portland. <laughs> so, no. Uh huh? Yeah. <laughs> Man, I can't wait till it gets cold. I can start rocking flannels again. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I call him when he wears flannel. He's kind That's, of yeah. That's nice. awesome. That's awesome. I love that show. But, uh, yeah, it was great. But anyways, like my clock kept flying off the wall, and like finally, like the third one that I bought had broke. It completely broke. I was sleeping in the middle of the night on my couch, and I was like. I woke up and I seen the thing flying through midair and went boom like is light is made out of plastic right and it was like looked like it's forced down into the carpet and like it broke really hard wow which would be hard to do because it weighed nothing and like I've been in that kitchen cooking by myself so many times and like turning like handed something like to hand something to somebody like. Because I thought somebody was there, but yeah, yeah. My dog. And there's nobody standing there. Weird. My yeah. son, one night, woke me up. I was dead asleep at four in the morning. Dad, somebody's here. Somebody's here. Somebody's here. Oh my god! Like, like freaking out, dude. He swore to God somebody opened the door and like he was in a hoodie and was like, "Oh, I'm sorry." Gave him the peace sign and ran out. Oh. But weird. every time I've been in the kitchen and like felt that present presence, it was somebody in a hoodie. Like very huh. Wicked. huh? Yep. It's huh. Weird how that that works. Yeah, well, it's that, pretty weird. It's that's us too. We've seen shadow figures mm -hmm. um, running through, and like I said, our staff has been touched numerous times. Our kitchen manager, seen Marcus, seems to be a magnet for that kind of activity, and it yeah. scares the living shit out yeah. of him. 
So we tried to get him to come on the last ghost hunt, and he was like, no, fuck you guys. I'm not. Yeah. I won't do yeah. it. Yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> but, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty exciting for us. I mean, not that we, you know, knew about it, like I said, when we got into the building, but um, it's interesting because of our theme. Yeah. So yep. yeah, <laughs> it, it works out. But. Oh, and uh, thank you guys for still having that mannequin in there. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That thing is pretty fucking rad. It yeah, is so it is. cool. I it will is. never, ever, ever give that thing up because we have had so many customers come in and take pictures with it and post them online and think it is the coolest thing and comment on it. And I love it. My 13-year-old daughter, it scares the living shit out oh, of her. Oh, and she yeah, they always think somebody's standing there, and they're like, "What the or hell?" It's, well, because yeah. you blacked out the eyes, and yeah. so at any direction, it looks like it's looking at you. Yeah, and so <laughs> it freaks Marcus out every day. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, so, do you guys remember when what was it? Macy's was going out of business. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, my buddy Gunner, fucking, uh, called me, and he's like. Dude, I was at Macy's uh, with my mom or whatever, and they have mannequins for sale. And I'm like, get the fuck out of here, <laughs> So I went in there, and I got, I hustled her down a little bit. I think it was like 100 bucks. Hmm. And then I think I got that other thing. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> well, you, is that where you the got the one up there? Piece. Too? Yeah. Which one? You, you hustled the, the mannequin. The chest piece up there. The I know, dude. It's like, you suck strapping. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, okay, there was this other one that was like way rad. But oh, it was like 200 okay. bucks. And I'm like, <laughs> so here's the funny thing. Actually, I think Phil was. I think Phil was with me, the appliance doctor guy. <coughs> but uh, so I called Jessica and I'm like, "All right, babe, check this out. There's this mannequin in here. How would you feel about me bringing it home? And I'm just gonna paint it." And she's like, "All right, whatever." And she's like, "Don't be bringing other chicks, dude." Wow. Well. <laughs> <laughs> the kids. I don't know. That thing was super weird. Jessica was the one that actually uh, painted, like, uh, the face, and she, like, uh, made those eyes, like, kind of, okay. like, pop yeah. out and shit. That's yeah, yeah. Because its yeah. face looks more, like, alien-like and yeah. stuff, and it's, yeah, it's, pretty, it's so fucking yeah. badass. I love that <laughs> yep. thing. It is probably my favorite, if not, definitely one of my favorite pieces, if not my <laughs> favorite piece weird. in the whole shop. I love it. <laughs> It is. It it's is. so cool, though. Yeah, man. yeah. Uh, it's great. And it's right by the front door, and so people, yeah, they'll definitely stop and take a picture with it and stuff. And... You should make a hat rack. I'm glad. I'm well, we glad. put we put one of our uh, little shop of burgers T-shirts on it for a while, we and did. then somebody wanted to, wanted buy, the to buy the shirt, so we had to, <laughs> yeah. we had to take the shirt off of it. But yeah, that thing is so cool. We'll put some little shop of burgers underwear on it. Yeah, there you go. yeah. yeah. Someday, See maybe. See how far you can take it. Yeah. Little shop of burgers lingerie. Right. <laughs> just lingerie. on. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question for you. Okay. Can I have it back and then give it to you in a different way? Well, like paint it like different. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If you I had do. a different idea on how to paint it. I was just thinking about it because like it does have like this weird kind of, it doesn't like vibe. It's like a moon on it or yeah, something. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's got yeah. a moon. It's more like, like a space. night sky. Yeah, like a, like a space. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But which I still love. But yeah, if you wanted to uh, do something different with it, and yeah, you got an idea. Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm down yep. with that. Yeah, just come get it, man. Okay. Yep. Well, we yeah, work tomorrow awesome. night. But I mean, at any point. If you want to come yeah. pick it up, we that I would be awesome. Pick it up, pick I'll hit you. Up. Yeah, yeah, our front door, our front entryway is gonna look naked without it. Yeah. We just recently acquired it, an old uh, butler guy that somebody yeah, donated to man. us. It's like looks like an old man, Jeez. you know, Jeez. holding the tray. Yeah, <laughs> he looks pretty a lot, much. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and so he's right across the on the other side of the door from the from the mannequin, mm-hmm. and uh, so they he's, so that they have a friend. Man. Oh, the flies are he's, out of control. He's this year. so creepy. Yeah, it's cool. Yep. So, but we also are having uh, this statue made. I mean, he's calling it the Audrey Three because it's uh, the burger plant that's on our shirts and our logo. Yeah, oh, he's making yeah, yeah, one. Yeah. 
and yep. it's made out of man like i don't know what he uses to make his stuff but it's got real shark teeth in it for the teeth of the burger yeah. and yeah. it's got uh the base of it is an old school like way old school maxwell house coffee can and yeah. then like he made a whole neck for it and like so Neat. it's displayed and then all of the vines coming off of it will be able to hold stuff yeah so okay. It's, it's gonna it's be cool. Super it cool. sounds so cool. Yeah, yeah, so we're excited about that. Yeah, but that, that guy's name is Lee Parker. Right? He's in he's in one of the Carolinas. I'm sorry, I don't know which one, but um, and he what does all that. Uh, that I don't know. Uh, just but he's got bum, an bum, Etsy bum. shop. Yeah. yeah, he's got a he's got an <laughs> Etsy shop and uh, Instagram. Yeah. It's at remakes underscore plethora. Yeah, and like man, he's got okay. all kinds of cool stuff. He's a cool guy too. Yeah, he makes like. Uh, Serial killer action figures and awesome. uh, shit like that. Really cool, unique stuff. So if you have somebody that you don't know what the fuck to get for them, that's the place to go because yep. it's cool. Somebody who's into, you know, weird shit. Yeah, like wise. I sent uh, Jim Jones action figure to another podcast that we listened to. What? Because one of the guys on there, it's called, they're Necronomapod. They're really cool. Um, but one of the guys on there is obsessed with Jonestown. And he has his own podcast by himself, all about Jonestown. I have, so. a, I have a koozie in there, I believe. Oh, no, he yeah, has yeah. a painting. Cool. Too. Oh, Katie, Katie's got it. Yeah. Of Jonestown. Well, you've or done Jim, Jones? Uh, Jim Jones. Dude, if you nice. drink up, if you do a Jim Jones one, <laughs> yeah, I, I, we would take I would a Jim take Jones. We would send we, it to you him. Guys yeah, we make buy. a Jim Jones punch. <laughs> I don't think anybody would drink. I don't think anybody would drink that. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> like drink at your own risk, yeah, motherfucker. Drink at your own risk. Some of them like, are regular, and some of them like, have a little something extra. Do it, do it for Halloween. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Follow the leader. Come on. <laughs> Dude, I would, I would you guess Jim Jones yeah. for Halloween. Uh, you would, that would that. be great. Well, I mean, Halloween is so ways away. <laughs> Do you guys do anything for Halloween? Oh, I mean, yeah, we oh, yeah. usually try to decorate up the shop quite a bit more. And we do last a year we contest. yeah we do a costume. We try to do stuff throughout the month. You know, the all whole kinds month of, of October. Yeah, we do all kinds of just awesome. different cha- you know challenges, things like that, and uh, you know <coughs> make a weird hat and come in and get a discount and that yeah. kind of stuff, and then a costume contest, but. Last year it wasn't as big of a deal because we were still kind of dealing with COVID, so yeah, we we weren't able to do as much. But uh, this year uh, and and October is just absolutely Bonkers. ridiculous for mm-hmm. us. Like it is, sure. of course, awesome. because we're horror themed. So right. it, it's just and off the charts crazy. Meat too yeah. Oh yeah. Well, and this year <laughs> Halloween, <laughs> Halloween's yeah. on uh, on a Sunday, so. I guess, oh, we'll, perfect. I guess we'll say it here first. We're going to be open Halloween Sunday. Yeah, because we're usually so, closed on Sundays. Yep. So we're going to be open because we, we can't yeah, be closed we, on we can't. Yeah, we have so many so, people upset. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll make sure to plug that every fucking every time. Cool. Yeah, because we will be You guys be like, want to be our sponsors? One of our sponsors? I mean, what does that mean? Yeah, just, what does that yeah. entail? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. You got some yeah. life, I guess. Yeah, right. But probably, yeah. It's, 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 a, it's like, a good possibility. Are you it's asking them yeah. to go steady? Or right, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Will you wear my pants? Do I have to take no. my clothes off? Yeah. <laughs> Dillinger movie, but it was from fucking uh, 1970. Cool. Hmm. It, it was it was cool just because it was an older movie. Right. But the shitty part was is like the guy I don't remember his name, but like he'd go in and like blast like them fucking gangsters and shit. But he like he'd put a cigar in his or he'd have somebody come put a cigar in his mouth. <laughs> Have them light it. Cool. And then he'd fucking like go in there, crap, and then like, oh, yeah, it's because of me type shit. And everybody's like awarding him. And I'm like, uh, I don't know if it went down like that. Yeah. You're telling me that you just graduate. 
gradually walk in the fucking house. Well, yeah, you watch Godfather. That's a true story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did yeah. somebody yeah. walked right Light into that. It might have even actually yeah. been Marlon Brando. You walked right yeah, into right? The, <laughs> yeah. that restaurant and started blasting away, right? Yep. Yeah. Right, well, no, but right like, if you think about it, like, because back then that was like 1930s. Yeah. Right. Type shit. Mm-hmm. So you're telling me, because... You know, goddamn well that they didn't have electronics, so right. there's no noise in the house. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's all these vehicles that are like, just yeah, yeah, tearing up the driveway. You're gonna yeah. hear all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're you're right. They're just gonna sit there and be like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe uh, the in-laws came to visit. Let's just yeah. hang out. Yeah. We grab me a beer too. Yeah. Yeah, please. Yeah. Me also, please. Yep. I'll take one. Oh my god. Too, man. <laughs> what is it? Sensua or whatever. Man, but yeah, can, it was just bullshit. Can I plug one, a couple more of my friends? You betcha, fuck yeah. So it's, a, it's another local podcast. Their names are Doob and Siege, and they uh, that's, have... That's what, our, that's what our podcast yeah. is about, man. So, um, but their podcast is called Nerds, I Am Your Podcast. And, I mean, they have covered Disney movies. They've covered UFC. They've covered football. They've covered awesome. Pokemon. They've covered video games. Thank I mean... You. Basically, anything that will feed your nerd fetish, they will eventually get to. What is um, it? I'm going to write it. It's called yeah. Nerds. I am your podcast. Cool. I love nerds. Nerd yeah. And, man, there are uh, a couple local guys, two of my best friends, that they just hang out and bullshit about some stuff, man. Awesome. We should see if they want to be on the show. Oh, I'm sure you guys stuff. could do a... Yeah, you, I'm, I'm sure, That'd man. And Smokey's connected with them, Joe. He's he's connected with them, too. You know, so. another thing we really haven't done is, like, actually, like, had a show with, like, other, like, podcast. Right. I mean, uh, well, Jed and Cody, them guys haven't really done a while. We'll plug them, too, speaking of podcasts. Off the Cuff with Jed and Cody. Word. Cool. Uh, but, yeah, eventually we're going to do a show with them. They they got a pretty rad show. Yeah, same shit. Cool. They just sit around and talk about whatever. Shit. Yeah, um, yeah, man. I think it's great. I like all the podcasts that are happening, and man, it seems like all the video stuff is really important now. Yeah, because people yeah. want to see who they're talking. They're like, you know, who they're listening to and what they're talking about. And yeah, you know what I mean. Like, because everybody judges, man. Like. You know, you hear somebody's voice and you get an opinion of how they're going to look. And then you see them and you're like, wow, either they looked exactly like you thought or not yeah. at all like you thought. You know what I mean? We've gotten some pretty, we've gotten some couple raves about like how this is, this place is grungy. Yeah. I mean, I, just, I feel it. It feels like a Nirvana it, yeah, music cool, video. Though. I get it. Yeah. 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 It does smell like Teen Spirit. <laughs> it does. It does. <laughs> yeah. I'm, here's my other goal that I'm going to. Try, that I'm trying to do too is hopefully at some point in time, Three Wheel Bicycle will be like the late night show of Casper. That would be cool. <laughs> like How rad would that be? Sense. Yeah, man, man, that would. I think that would be way cool. Just adjust your antenna to the left, and there we are. Huh? Just adjust it, antenna to the left. Oh, a little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. That's right. That's right. Like Wayne's World shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're not worthy. Yeah. <laughs> Already called the hot Asian check too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sh- I'm still waiting on uh, Kelly Kapowski yeah. to call me. Okay. It's been a long time, man. Yeah. <laughs> and I know she's gotten my letters. <laughs> <laughs> Which way? This way? Yep. There we go. <laughs> oh. Bumped your microphone. Well, welcome back. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> you got a dad joke? A dad joke? Oh, shit. <clears throat> uh, where's that joke? <laughs> yeah, it's a... Nice. Stevie got me a book of John Wayne's oh big book God. of dad just, jokes. That's, that's hilarious. The same dad yeah. jokes. Yeah. Oh. Where did the cowboy quit the rodeo? The pay was terrible. Wow. wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple good ones in here. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> they're all good. I mean, to it, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're all they're, terrible. They're, they're so <laughs> bad that they're good or good that they're bad. I don't know how you want to say it, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <Dad> jokes. <laughs> <That'd be> awesome. <laughs> yep. 
Now we lost another one. Yep, sure did. I know. I wish the flies would do the same thing too. Just yeah, what the fuck is going on with the flies this year? Like, it's I mean, they're all everywhere. The moisture That's what, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're just it's ridiculous. Been really wet and hot. Right? Well, we even saw yeah. a cicada at our house. Weird. Yeah, Which, I heard yeah. them, dude. Yep. And like, those are you know swamp creatures. Yeah, yeah they only catch every <laughs> seventeen years too. Okay. Yeah. Did Only I didn't. I did not know that. Yeah, they come out every once in a while. They scream. They fuck. They die. That's basically yeah. like their life cycle. So <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Or they fuck. They scream. They die. I don't know which. Yeah. Mosquitoes. Cicadas. Cicadas. Oh, yeah, cicadas. Yeah, they're usually in the south, but. We got a, a picture of one the other day because, and they say that they do have them in Wyoming. They just yeah. are so camouflaged that you only ever hear them. You don't see them. And we went out on our porch the other day and we see it. We were like, what the fuck is that? It was one of the ugliest bugs I've ever seen in my yeah. life. Right. And I took a picture of it. it. Yeah, it was fucking creepy, but it was a cicada. My yeah. dad was telling me, was, was like, hmm? we're talking about that whole hatching thing. He was telling me about the whole 17 year hatching bullshit. He's like, yeah. he's like, well, good thing we don't have to deal with them here. He's like, no, we have them here. He's like, dude, definitely, like, down in river bottoms, like, where it's super swampy and shit. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. So it's all about the moisture and shit, Yeah, basically. because it's been really rainy lately, like, the torrential Whoa. downpours. Right? It is pretty gnarly. Yeah, that was the one that we saw. Yeah, be, yep, that's a cicada. Yeah. It would be, yeah. like, a cool tattoo or something. Really, yeah. A scarab. Oh. Yeah, scarab. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They're just a buggy ass eyes. It's fucking nasty. Yeah. Well, we had what? What kind of spider was that that hatches its babies? Oh, on the itself? wolf spider. We've gotten a couple pictures of that yeah, too, man. where this it carries those? its babies on its back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh dude, yeah. They're gross looking. Touch them and they scatter. <laughs> just scatter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Spiders don't trip me up that bad. Like when we first moved in. My but place. those are wicked, man. I had a black <laughs> widow. I had a pet black widow pretty much. A pet. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> like it was really cool. Like. I knew when it came out, like I wouldn't come out during the day, but like as soon as the sun would come down, open up the door and I'd look up, it'd be up there, then it'd be down here or up there, and like it was always during the night. Oh god, really cool. They are cool. It's all fun and games. Then like it just know. stayed there the whole time. <laughs> yeah. But I shown somebody it, and like I kind of like I blow on the web sometimes, and like it shoot up the web. Yeah. Well, I did that. Before. A lot of I was like, oh shit, oh, you're shit. not running loose. Yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. 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 Oh. I'm so sorry. Like, you were cool. Fucking not anymore. Yep, yep. Like, you are now, like, off your leash. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I feel about cat spiders, too. They're not poisonous, but they're so fucking cool looking. But oh, they get goodness. absolutely massive. My grandma used to get the biggest ones when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. She had this covered porch with all these cottonwood trees in the front yard with hedges all around. Just an amazing yard. And they would get this web every year, and like you've seen cat webs, right? Yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. they're orbiting. It always so. like was where the sun was shining, so you'd always see it in the morning, right? And like this huge fucking web. Holy moly! There was <laughs> one that was like the body was like no shit like that big. Oh, like, wow. oh yeah. My grandpa like caught this bumblebee somehow, like it landed. Just like stomped on it just enough to maim it and tossed it in that web, and that cat spider came down and spun it up and took it. Oh my uh, god, is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Yeah, they're uh, pretty fucking cool. Yep, yep. Those like, fucking brown recluses are pretty nasty. Yeah, they're really yeah, yeah. Those have you seen anybody got bit by one of them yeah. fuckers? Mm-hmm. I think I, I did. Like, <clears throat> not in real life pictures, but when I, I was I in did. prison, when I was in prison. I don't remember his name. Hopefully you're doing good, man. <clears throat> blah, 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 blah. This <clears throat> was, I don't know how many years ago. But anyway, fucking, uh, there was brown recluse, like, fucking everywhere. Oh, wow. Well, anyway, he's like, he gets up on the bunk, and he's like, Vander, i am like, I don't fucking feel very good, man. And I'm like, well, fuck you, all right? All of a sudden, he's like, sweating. And then <clears throat> he's like, man, now I'm fucking cold. Well, like, I looked at it. was like a yeah, fucking dude, yeah, hole. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, man, and it happens quick. Yeah. I mean, fucking fast. It's gross. Yeah, gross. Those things are bad. 
Yep. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Spiders, man. That's wild life shit. Right. Yeah. 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 What's your wildlife fucking? Uh, yeah. What's your yeah. wildlife thing? I don't know. You kind of pinned this wildlife shit on me because last week you stuck in the boat. it out on wildlife. Okay. And I need some facts about like flying shit. That <laughs> <laughs> you guys ever heard of tardigrades or water bears? No. Pretty cool. Like, they're microscopic little things that live on moss and lichen. Anywhere you can find moss or lichen, which is anywhere damn almost up to the polar ice caps. Which right. In some months of the year, even there. But these things are so, like, crazy because they'll go into suspended animation. They're, like, uh, essentially sponges that are like live off the water like they'll wow if there's a huge drought or whatever or something they don't get water they can slow their bodies down to one thousandth of one percent of like heartbeat and blood flow huh. they go into the suspended animation they I think I remember hearing something up to thousands of years that they found them that for hundreds of years they can do this for hundreds of years Wow. Huh. Like they dug them up. I think the Russians dug one up that was thousands of years old, like in suspended animation. Crazy shit. So like, they just cut themselves off completely. Like they're the ultimate survivors of anything. We've sent them into space now, and they've survived that. Like, is like a sixty-six percent survivability. We actually shoved them into the vacuum of space. Well. And the crazy thing, when we brought them back and then they laid their eggs or whatever, their eggs have this weird spiky huh. out, outer texture after that, which huh. is a weird adaptation. But like, so it's crazy. Like these things, like they can go lay dormant for three thousand years. I, I'm pretty sure. Wow. Wow. And just come back to life. Like so. Like, like I said, they're just like a sponge. Like, just need water, but if they don't get it, they'll just pretty much go to sleep for hundreds or thousands of years, like, depending on who you talk to. But That's crazy. Cool. That is crazy. Tardigrades cool. are pretty badass. Huh. Or water bears. And, like I said, like, anywhere you find lichen or moss, you can find them, but they've also started finding them in crazy other places. Too. Oh, I'm sure anywhere huh. there's water. There's yeah. like, God, I read about it like a couple weeks ago. I knew about them a while ago, but they've done like further research like this uh, uh, space one with them. It's pretty new, but um, I think there's like 66 different species of tardigrades. Huh. And it's well, all relative to the distance. Tardigrades. Of, right, where they come from. So. Two, two, tardigrades. <laughs> 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 Pretty fucking awesome fucking little facts here. Yeah, that's yeah, fucking that's cool. cool man. Yeah, like pretty it's, pretty amazing. There's a it's cool that you know all like, that stuff. Just yeah. There's yeah. another yeah. fucking one I remember. I'll fucking bring it up next week. I, yeah, I fuck yeah, dude. Bits and pieces. I'll have. It's just gonna have to be a segment of yours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. science yeah. time. Science time. Or, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wild life. Do you guys want to hear some other cool facts? Yeah. Fact okay. history on shit. Belt buckles. All right. Uh, they date back to the Bronze Age. Uh, and they used to <laughs> help carry weapons and tools. Neat. Roman soldiers and gladiators uh, were known to wear them. Cust- that, like they were custom ones. And then the 1500s, uh, in Spain, the public started uh, wearing <coughs> them. And, yeah. So and became now a fashion like, trend. Huh? Yep. Uh, yeah. Especially among cowboys. The, huh? the only yeah. buckle, belt buckle I've ever worn is, is a mistletoe, mistletoe one. Nice. That's hilarious. That's great. <laughs> oh, I'm That's sure. Thing. I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Like, man, there used to be a a site um, it was called this is why I'm broke dot com a buddy of mine bought a remote controlled flying fuck 
It was really? literally just the word fuck that had helicopter yeah. propellers <laughs> <laughs> so he could give his flying fuck or, or not. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But they had all kinds of stupid dead. shit. Yeah. <laughs> There's it's this crazy. dude that I follow on fucking TikTok or whatever. I don't remember what his name is, unfortunately, but he makes, uh, he'll like go get like a cereal box or whatever and then he'll fucking draw on it and he'll put in like a fucking gnarly hat like one of these like fucking expensive ones but like have embroidered shit on it and then he like walks in the store and puts it all the way in the back and uh, shit how fucking rad would that be but yeah. like, he's like in the bigger cities yeah, and shit yeah. but uh, I thought be about like cool to yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I know but <laughs> Just I mean like for the area. yeah like it gave me a fucking cool idea yeah, yeah. that's yep. super yeah. cool yeah yep. make some cool shit and just yeah, leave it there for somebody. Yep. That's super cool. That's the kind of creativity we want to plug on yeah. the prison project, yeah. man. Like, that's yeah. that's literally... That was so way shit. cool. Uh, oh, so going back kind of to the Wild City Summer Jam thing, um, our booth, <coughs> uh, we're going to have um, these bags for the kids. Um, and then we're going to have, uh, I can't remember if it's 20, but we're going to put a ticket in. And then if we draw your ticket at the end of the show, then they get, like, a big thing. Okay. okay. Oh, we're going to be selling oh, yeah. these bags for the kids that have, like, fidgets. Okay. Cool. Stuff like that. Yeah. And then we're going to have, like, an adult thing. We got fucking sunglasses that are pretty fucking gangster. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> cool. So what's up, Joe, Schroeder, Talia Park, and Larry Nash? Thanks for What's happening? Man, they still, still watching? Joe's still watching. Yeah. 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 What's up, man? At least. Yeah. yeah. So you told us he would. That. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, just chilling. We appreciate you guys coming here bullshitting with us. Yeah, no, this is fun. Squirrel. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> We're having a good time. You guys are having a good time. Over yeah. Here. yeah. Yeah, man. Well, and speaking of other cool shit that we've got coming up here soon, uh, we're going to be taking, because we also have a food trailer that, uh, mm. that you know, we can't, because of the uh, guidelines per Natrona County, we can't just, like, go park up at Walmart and sell our food. It has to be a uh, publicized event that we go and do. But we're going to be doing uh, a thing, a street dance up in Shoshone. Oh, so cool. it's going to be, we're September excited. 4th. About, yep, September 4th. I don't so. know Shoshone, so. Wyoming. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, but I guess they're... Small town. <laughs> small town. But yeah. they think they they, they think that there's going <laughs> right. to be a, a big turnout because now with restrictions being loosened and, and all, that they'll well, have... all the tourism going right through there. You yeah, know, to like throw off list. Yeah. up there and, you know, up to Riverton yep. and under that way, so... Yeah, and so... it's on a Saturday, so... Yeah, it should, if you're wanting something to do, you know, it's... Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Drive to Shoshone, have yeah. a burger, bud. Yeah. Go drive, and then drive up to Thermopolis, go sit yeah. in the hot yeah. springs, go, man. It sounds like a fun time. Star Plunge, man, that place is cool, go too. Go to Six it. Canyon and Lander. Yeah. Or that place is fucking cool. Yeah. 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 All those canyons up there, man, like... Mm-hmm. I grew up in that town, so... Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Right, yeah. Down, <laughs> yeah. Man, for sure. Yep. Uh... We should probably should we talk about that fucking burger place that we went to? Oh my door goodness, that was just for dollars. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. Well, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. People on our that's show. all right. No. You guys went there today. Like that's important. Yeah. 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 And it was. It was fucking... actually called Backdoor Bar and Grill. Oh so yeah. BGL. Right. Okay. Yeah. Pretty much in cool. Fort Collins. Okay. Uh, so cool. Yeah, the waitress. We gave her a sticker. She said, "I don't know if she's watching tonight." What was her name? Pamela. Yeah, I think. Uh, next time we're down in Fort Collins, we'll go fucking yeah. down there. Dude, it was really cool. cool. So much, really cool. A lot of cool artwork. Fucking uh, yeah. And the food was amazing. Yeah, yeah. they had like smash burger style. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like and we got referred. Trip. We got referred. Yeah. There. Yeah. So okay. we, we were at like some, nice. we're at some cool. skate shop or whatever. Yeah. And fucking, uh, yeah, they referred us. So yeah. it was that's pretty cool. badass. Uh, you got to love the places that the locals tell you to go because that's those are the ones that are going to be on point usually. The food yeah. is really yeah. good. It's got good atmosphere. And yep. so, and it's all local somewhere, oh, yeah. you know, which is yep. super cool. She even she, she bought us said a shot. It, yeah, no, cool. yeah, she, <laughs> yeah. Nice. she also said it was voted the best burger joint in all of Colorado. That's right. Yeah. Wow. And nice. her, 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 husband's, her husband's from Casper. Yeah. Wicked. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. Wicked. 
That's awesome. Yeah, she even brought up the gaslight and shit. Yeah. Uh, okay. So okay, cool. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, man. So it wasn't like a joke or anything. Like, yeah. like, shit no. Or shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. That's way cool, yeah. This is way um, cool. I, I like the fact that like once you walked in the bathroom and then all them stickers were there. Because like I was going to blast my stick, our it, stickers. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean? Oh, yeah. And fucking, like, yeah. yeah. And right away when we walked in the bathroom, like that door and fucking Stevie walked goes, into oh, the yeah. stall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so it's acceptable. Yeah, right. You're like, we're well, all gonna do it anyways, but yeah. Like, well, run, 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 well right. yeah, 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 really yeah. Because like, I don't know. I did get bad in it that one time. We won't yeah. talk about that. Well, <laughs> no. For putting a sticker out. No, I. Uh, it was my fault. I was uh, drunk and uh, went into the bathroom of a bar. And I tagged it up. Gotcha. And I got blasted pretty hardcore. Which yeah. kind of sucked because there was a bunch of people that didn't even know who the fuck I was. And right. And they were talking mad shit on me. Right. And Again, it yeah. goes back to the social media being it got me yeah, both of us. It got sent yeah. in a cool yeah. thing was. Nice I was like, yep. back to that. My youngest mm-hmm. daughter, I was like, hey, maybe let's fucking go for a walk. And then, like, you can be woke yeah. and you can be too far. But still, mm-hmm. it's like, fuck y'all. That's how I, no, no, I get that. I recently got into a. Uh, a little bit of a rant on uh, Casper Classifieds because, you know, I post stuff for our restaurant and everything on oh, there. of course, yeah. And somebody went on there and had a bunch of nasty shit to say. And so I defended us, not in any, you know, in a negative way. I just, mm. you know, I'm going to defend my, my re- you know, our restaurant, our family and everything because we're course. all family owned. And, I mean, dude just went the fuck off the rails and got so pissed off that he proceeded to go on every platform he could and tell me, tell, say what a nasty, horrible person I was. Yeah. Wow. I'm like, my man, yeah. I don't know what kind of a fucking day you're having, but you don't know me, you know? Like, I'm so, sorry you had a yeah. bad experience, but you could, you know, you chalk it up to maybe my cooks were having a bad night. Yeah, maybe back. it was, like yeah, I come said, back like, and try it again. Like I said, like, five yeah. out of six times, even the most right. experienced person can't make it over easy. Right, right, right. And it happens anywhere you go. And so uh, he just didn't like the fact that I defended my restaurant. And I mean, he just went off the handle. And so I was just like, man, like, I understand you and... You know, as a bit as business owners, we have to control ourselves to a certain extent. Yeah, you know, of same thing yeah, with yeah. your art and everything else. Like you, <clears throat> you can't go too crazy, but it it's hard sometimes when people are coming at you and attacking you and coming at you sideways. So yeah, well, and I mean, even um, on like our Google reviews, man, we get. And I mean, I get yeah. that people have a bad experience, but like they'll go on yeah. there and say all this stuff, and then when I go and defend. Then uh, we, like one guy, I called him a troll and he actually sent us an email. It was like, hey, I apologize. I took my thing down oh, and like well, all this stuff. Because okay. I'm like, I'm like, man, like we, we work hard. And yeah, are we perfect yeah. all the time? Yeah. No. Yeah. We, no one is. Just we can't, we can't do it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. so, I mean, like, I don't know. I just, I, I don't judge a place on one experience. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. That's what I'm no. saying. Like, art's not always perfect, right? Like, so you gotta give well, and how many times do you criticize your art and somebody else is like, man, that's that's amazing. Yeah. All the time. All the I'm, time. Yeah. You're I'm your worst critic. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's how it usually works. Us There's too. a bunch. Like, if I'll sit out when I'll be painting or whatever, and then he'll fucking come over, and I'm like, God, I don't <laughs> oh, so you like wrote that. it. That's <laughs> fucking pretty sick, man. Yeah. 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 I love all your shit, man. Like, every time I've seen you, you know, seen that. any of your stuff, I think it's... And I've got, like I said, several of your pieces yeah, you at the gave, shop. You gave me so. that Joker the other day, yeah. and then we've got yep. your alien with the light bulb is sitting yep. at the oh, shop. Yeah, yeah you gave right. us that and one too. And the then fucking Wu Tang yep. shirt. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That was such a no, but that was yeah. acrylic. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That fucking yeah. Yep. yep. We got that one, and plus we have the alien that we talked about, and then mm-hmm. we, we also have the uh, oh, um, what is the name of that movie? I just thought about it. I'm. We have the House Halloween. of a Thousand Corpses, the oh, crew from yeah. that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then so, we have the Halloween cool. and the Jason mm-hmm. Voorhees spray paint art ones you yep. did. Like, so, we got quite a bit of your stuff Yeah, we have a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's, so cool. so, yeah. That's so cool. Good for you, buddy. Yeah. I, I do want to say something. 
Yeah. Uh, so I went to the art walk yesterday, <clears throat> and I conquered a fear, fear, so to speak. I've never actually like painted, spray painted like in front of just like people walking. Okay, by. so you did a street, a street art. Cool. Yeah, I was just like, oh, fuck it. shit. I even fuck texted him. I'm like, dude, I'm like so fucking nervous. Sitting out here in the garage yeah. with like the camera right. up, it's whatever. Right. Yeah. But like having eyes on you. Yeah. It was actually pretty cool. cool. And yeah. I met the seventy nine year old lady and we had oh it, yeah. Hell cool. Yeah. It was a really cool experience. And next month I'm gonna be down there again too. Cool. cool. That's awesome. Big Way horn cool. design studio. We're gonna I have think. to come check Where's it out that? one of these times. Next to Metro Coffee. I was gonna say okay. I think it's in that building. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. Cool. I didn't have the address yep. road down. It's, I, it's over there. It's on David Street. David. That's all I know. Yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. literally right across the street from the David, David Street, street station. station. Yeah. We're going to have to come check that out. <laughs> yeah, they have. Can oh, I not yeah. talk or do I owe you something? <laughs> <laughs> there was a bunch of others. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can right. Coke, you owe me a Coke? You owe me a Coke. All right. Yeah. That's right. Yep. Yep. That's cool. I've got to go extremely. There was what? Skull Tree Brewing was in there. Yeah, that's um, good. There was a bunch of Oh, others. dude, I forgot to tell you about that. Yeah. Like, I was wearing that propaganda shirt or whatever. Propaganda? It's a band. Yeah. Yep. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> you guys like, I was going to ID you, but then I seen your shirt. Like, like, oh. He's right. He's right, yeah. though. Yeah. <laughs> you know, propaganda, like, you you're know definitely old enough. Is, you're definitely old enough. Let me talk about it. That's what took me so long. I sat there and talked to him for like 10 minutes. <laughs> I was like, dude, yeah, they still play. Like, they have new shit out. Like, they've been around. Forever. Yeah, they've been around like, they're for great. Like, a while. They're honed in like a motherfucker too. <laughs> yeah. Like, tell them about that. I'm like, yeah, man, I was, I was like, dude, to it them could. When I was like, listening to like Fugazi yeah, and stuff like that. Dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Same, all same time frame. <laughs> Austin, when, they were when they were good. Yeah, well, even really like Blink good. with like Dude Ranch and Cheshire Cat. Like, that Cheshire was all at the Cat, same yeah. time frame. Yeah. Oh, what yeah. the fuck are we going? We're going to see what Rancid and, and Drop Kick Dude, Murphy's. cool. Yeah. I saw nice. the Incident yeah. Riot Fest yeah. a couple years Murphy's. ago. And the Bronx. Cool. Cool. I'm not oh, a big man. Drop Kick fan. I'm not going to lie. No, okay. I love them. We're going yeah. to see yeah. Rise Against in Salt Lake. See yep. them fucking five times. I've seen them twice. They're yeah. my favorite band. Okay, so <laughs> my first time was in... What are we talking about here? Right. Oh, this is a weird We're go- way to. Yeah. <laughs> so the first time we're seeing Rise Against was. Yeah, we're gonna um, go see. <laughs> you you remember those Atticus sampler things they used to put out like uh, compilation? Discs? Yeah. Like. You guys need so to I got an Atticus yeah, one. Yes, please. Take this too. So I got an Atticus, Atticus one. Yep. Two in line here. Okay. You know, yeah. Yeah, I'd take one more. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll probably have to wrap up soon. We gotta go get kids. But. Yeah. But you remember what I'm talking about, like the little sample. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's an Atticus one that had Rise Against on there. I think it's Heaven Knows. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. So I went to fucking uh, Buzzman, Montana, Warp Tour. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Kind of just walking around and I was like, oh my God. I hear that song off that CD I'm walking. Nice. This tent, and it's like, oh my God. And they put on a sick ass show. Yeah, dude. And then. They became really big after that. Me and my buddy Matt, like, we take my dad's car down there and fucking get stuck in traffic. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thanks. It's Billy Talent and Rides Against. Oh, I didn't get one? Oh, I sure didn't know you wanted one. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Billy Talent and Rides Against and Thursday. Okay. And we fucking were super stoked on Billy Talent. Like, you know, big belly. Well, yeah, things. yeah. Mm-hmm. Fucking got stuck in traffic, dude. We uh, finally made it to uh, the Fillmore. Caught the very last song of Billy Talent. Like, it felt like there's nobody at that concert. Like, what the fuck? This is weird. And that sucks. Like, yeah, so yeah. Fucking the, the, who sick. you were going to see? Yeah. 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 And then fucking lights went out and fucking everybody piled in, dude. Oh my god. And Thursday did the wall of death. Like they split the crowd in half. Like, okay. Everybody to this side and this side. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yep. That shit. And like, I'm going to give you a signal. And like, we were playing this song. And like, what I fucking do, whatever. Like, everybody go ape shit. And like, oh my god. Like, I looked at my phone. Like, you ready? Like, 
We'll meet each other over there, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking he gave the signal and it was just fucking chaos. And then Rise Against came on and it was so fucking amazing. Yeah, man. I almost I felt like Dude, I was gonna we, die in a Rise we Against. We went to pit. the bathroom and the whole men's bathroom was just fucking blood everywhere. Oh, I yeah. believe. It was just like a slaughterhouse. Somebody <laughs> fucked wow. up, dude. Oh my god, it was so amazing. Like the whole crowd was just like into it. Like yeah, yeah. Yeah, back when they guys, like they just uh, siren songs fucking it just lifted came up, out. and then suffering the witness. Okay, came out. okay. It was that time yep. before we got kind of. Eh. I still love them, but yeah, I, I, hear I heard it. their new album is pretty good. I like it. It's man. so I, good. I, yep. Is it? Or, yep. Yeah, that's. I don't like the other ones. Though. I do. I love yeah. them. That, yeah. Like they're yeah, they're my favorite band. Them and the Hold Up Man. Like I know you the Hold Up. Dude, they're I, great. They're, yeah, yeah. 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 Hold yep. Up's dope. You like the white boy reggae kind of stuff. Though. A lot. Yeah. 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 man. I I so love I love music. music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We listen a lot Wolf, of that Gold shit Finger. Today. Goldfinger. Yep. Yep. Yes. <laughs> yes. Even uh, 311. And, yep. Yep. Expendables. Yep. Uh, fucking. Dirty um, Heads. Like. <laughs> then Raptors. Pe- Pepper. That's probably, oh, yeah. Pepper. That's probably my favorite. Oh, Pepper's so dope. Sergeant Pepper's <laughs> Lonely Art Club Band. Dude, Pepper's <laughs> 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 Way to plug the Beatles. <laughs> Next best thing is Sublime. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, like, Honestly, Sublime, I thought like, they were the same band when I first heard yeah. Pepper. I actually seen Pepper here in California. With Guttermouth. Yeah. I know. Yes, yeah. with yeah. Yeah. You were there. I was. Yeah. I was. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that club dance yeah. bus is upstairs, not yep. underground, is yeah. upstairs. Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. That was with yep. One Man Army. Yeah, sure was. Yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, all, so and Guttermouth just talked shit the whole time yep, on Casper Wyoming. I was like, yep. dude, yeah, what really the fuck? What the fuck are you doing? But Mark kept coming back. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, they came back three or four times. Yeah, yeah. I saw I saw Pepper there. That's so fucking awesome, dude. Like, I love that shit. Underground kids. (laughs) Should we, uh, should we, like, gently wrap this up? We should. (laughs) Are we about it? I I do have one, one other thing Uh, that I totally forgot to mention. Huh? Happy birthday to my mother-in-law. Nice. Julie. Hopefully you had a badass day. Cool. Love you, Julie. Yeah. Happy birthday. I should have sent her flowers or something. Yeah. We'll go get her. Yeah. 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 Do, do a bigger bouquet tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. Everything will be a bouquet. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe some, some chocolates or something. Yeah. Chocolates. Uh, yeah. Do you, got, do you got anything else? No, but I love everybody. Yeah. And thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for being here. Dude, thanks yeah, for having us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this has been a lot of fun. We, we really thank you. Uh, fucking came and hung out. We want to come back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah when, so. when you want to have us back, we'll be back. Yeah. So, because this has been a fun time. So. Yeah. Dude, we got to play that fucking. You know, <laughs> 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 All right, well. <laughs> later. Wait, what is it? What is it? Uh, season two, episode three. three. Yeah. Thank yep. Thanks, Joe, for watching. Watch and cast the Thanks, guys. Love y'all.